I'm going to do something just a little bit different today. One of the things I've enjoyed the very most about being in awe is having one-to-ones with you guys and learning what you really enjoy about your business. Just getting involved in your day-to-day -day a little bit more through a one-to-one and hearing, hey, this, oh, this happened today, this was so great. And so what I want to do today is, is just give you some of the things that I love most about my business. And as I go through the list, I've got a little bitty gift card. There's one thing on this list that nationwide and all of the studies that are done that most people appreciate about their realtor. When they really love their realtor, there's usually one thing that is said, like this is, they did this. So I'm going to ask you guys at the end, which of the things on this list you think that might be? And you get a little, get a little card for that. Okay. First off, I love making dreams come true. Working with you to find that special spot where you feel most happy and most at home. And sometimes that's real easy. Sometimes I get clients who come in and they just go, I want these amenities. Here's a picture of the type of house I love. It's real easy. Other times I have clients, especially first time buyers, I'll drive down the street with them and I'll go, okay, now look at the houses on the street and tell me which of these houses look like home to you. And it's amazing that, I mean, the difference. Sometimes it'll be a house I go, that looks, that does not look good to me. <laughs> you know, it may be a style that I just don't like, you know, just a plain ranch with no trees in the yard or something like that. Um, getting to know what really is home to somebody is, is a process. And I have a lot of first time buyers and they'll go, well, I like to do this in the house and I'm probably gonna have my family over at Christmas. But what does that equate to when it comes down to floor plan, when it comes down to neighborhood? So that finding, uh, that search process is something that I really love doing and helping them understand where they'd really be happy once they buy the house. I love planning with you and laying out the timeline for all the details of your purchase and move. I love exploring the chosen property, digging into the details of the mechanicals and the construction and the maintenance and looking for the home's strengths and weaknesses and assessing their values, positive and negative, as to how they relate to your personal goals and pricing. A lot of times, before you make an offer on the house, this is before you have the home inspector in there, you want to have some idea about what is going on with that property, what the condition is. Um, you can have a property that looks good and maybe it's got $1,000 worth of deferred maintenance, or maybe it's got $50,000 worth of deferred maintenance. And that can make a tremendous difference in a realistic offer on the property so you don't regret your decision later or have to renegotiate in the middle of the sale. Um, I love evaluating the home's neighborhood demographics condition, market position, and coming up with a true value for the, for the price. I love exploring the life situation that are creating the seller's desire for a need to sell and discovering the best bid approach. This is something, last year, I think about 30% of my contracts came from a multiple offer situation. That's when there's more than one person bidding on that property. And something that helps tremendously is when, as, a, as your agent, I go and I find out, well, what's really motivating these people? What's their timing? Do they, would they really like to be in this house another two months after the sale? Or are they in a giant rush to get out of here within the next two weeks? Details like that and positioning an offer so that it hits that, that seller's sweet spot. A lot of times last year would make a difference in uh, the buyers that I was working with would get the bid and somebody maybe even had offered higher wouldn't because there were things that were more important to that seller than just the pricing on the property. Um, one of the things I really love is just winning the bid, you know, <laughs> getting in there in a negotiating position and just coming out on top. I love staying in touch with you throughout the process and just being sure there are those moments in a sale where all of a sudden you go, oh gosh, did I make the right decision or what's going to happen next? And having your agent just call and be a part of your, your weekly dialogue with yourself about the process makes a world of difference. Um, I love finding the best mortgage and uh, service available for your unique purchasing situation. Sometimes that's real easy, sometimes that's really hard. Um, I love having my BNI toolbox because the people in here, the quality of the service providers in here is just fabulous. So being able to have an exceptional termite repair, termite person, repair person, 
insurance carrier that I can recommend and I don't have to wonder. I just go call Robert and I know that things are going to go well. Uh, call Aaron. I know the closing is going to be set up and go smoothly. That's tremendous help for me in my job. And it's something I love being able to do because they're, okay, thank you. Um, because those things make a world of difference. If you hit a bump and your mortgage person doesn't do things well, it's not going to be a smooth transaction. I love teaming with you as an ex, uh, and an expert home inspector to introduce you to the inner workings of the home. I've got a really strong background in construction. Um, a lot of the solar collectors on the properties around here in Shelby County, I crawled on the roofs and went through the attics. I, I love plumbing. I love electricity, <laughs> things like that, that make a difference. Um, I you know, just getting involved in that process so that when you buy a house, you don't just know the condition now, you know, okay, because of the way the chimney is, I'm going to have to get those leaves from around the chimney once a year. You know, there's things that are important to you as a homeowner that make a difference in how that house lives out for you over the years, and, and that's a part of your front-end discovery. I love negotiating on your behalf regarding inspection findings and throughout the negotiations. We used to do a one-stop negotiation. We negotiated the price of the house and the amount, dollar amount for the repairs on the front end, but we don't do that anymore. We negotiate the sale price, then we do the home inspection, and then we negotiate the repairs. So that's something that, that I, the negotiation is just something that just I, I get up in the morning for. I love reviewing closing documents, evaluating options, and then celebrating with you at the closing, and being your go-to person after the closing um, uh, through the years. Okay, when you buy a house, a whole different process. I mean, excuse me, when you're selling a house, a whole different process. I love listening and learning your reasons for the sale. And one of the things that's real important, a question I normally ask is, what's your priority? Pricing, timing, or convenience? Because those make, which of those you pick as your top priority makes a big difference in how we proceed forward. I love planning with you, looking at the buy, with buyer's eyes at your home and counseling you through, I have a market readiness worksheet that I fill out with you, uh, as to how to use your time and funds in preparation and create the best return on investment. I've talked to you guys about that a bunch before. That's real important on the front end because sometimes people put a lot of money into something that's not really going to pay out. And other times it can pay out very well. I love providing you with exceptional tradesmen for home inspections, termite repair, and others. And working with your assets and your goals to determine the most effective market approach for your house. Each house has its own personality, its own set of amenities, assets. And there are buyers out there that are just chomping at the bit to have those amenities, those assets. And then your realtor's job is to make that connection. Um, I had a seller one time, it was the most highly engineered house that I've ever had. And he said to me, Sandy, you're not gonna be able to capture my property. And he was kind of crusty, I just loved him. And, and so <laughs> I spent a lot of time with him. I learned about how he poured the foundation know how many how much rebar there was in the foundation and I wrote everything up and I gave it to him and he read and he got this big smile on his face you did it you did it so taking your property and presenting it to where the market goes yes this is it I can I can see this house um, I'm gonna have to hurry up I love providing staging information and services to bring out the best in your home. I love providing you with quality advertising, hard copy and virtual to make your house come alive to potential buyers. I love evaluating the market response as we go along through the sale process and staying in touch with feedback, market updates, and general information. And I love presenting your home's qualities and details in full throughout the whole negotiating process. Because sometimes you need to come in with a second tier of, hey, this is my stuff. It's really worth this. Again, negotiating on your behalf, um, protecting your interests by evaluating potential buyers, and working with your plans, and the preparing the final details of the sale, and most of all, celebrating with you at the closing. I love having parties at closing, and that's when you just relax, everything is done, mission accomplished. Um, okay, does anybody know what the one thing is that people want in a realtor in are the most happy when they get it. Any ideas? It's on here a couple of times. <laughs> I was going to say, I would be making my dream come true because if I tell you what my vision is, it's going to 
Ontario. That seems like it would be yeah. It's Whoa. actually negotiating love. That's the staying in touch. <laughs> Listen. Staying in touch. Huh? It's actually staying in touch. Yeah. Staying in touch. Yeah. Um, you guys get to go one with her? Yay! Yeah.